गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन माई सीरीज ऑफ द इनकम टैक्स लेक्चर्स ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस द केस विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज जी बी बिल्डर्स वर्सिज असिस्टेंट कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स सी पी सी टी डी एस दिस केस हैज बिन रिपोर्टेड इन नाइन्टी फाइव आई टी आर ट्रिब्यूनल शॉर्ट नोट पेज नंबर एटी फोर द मैटर हैज बिन डिसाइडेड बाय अहमदाबाद आई टी आई टी बेंच एस एम सी बेंच and the case has been decided on 25th april 2022 friends this case is very unique the facts of the case are a little bit different in this case the assessee has purchased a property and deposited the tds of the seller that is 1% but while making the payment of the tds the pen number of the buyer and seller got exchanged despite of putting the pen number of the seller he put the pen number of the purchaser that is himself and his pen number was put into the pen number of the seller due to which the seller didn't get the credit of the tds this fact came to the knowledge of the assc and the seller after a long period of time there was a dispute between the two the seller was making pressure on the purchaser who is assessee in this particular case that please deposit my tds i am not getting the benefit of the tax deducted by you so the purchaser for buying the peace of mind deposited the tds again after a long period of time because there is no provision in the income tax act that if the pan numbers are feeded wrongly and the chalan is deposited then that chalan can be rectified because when the tds payment is made in case of the property transactions these are very less transaction the assc has not to make these type of payments very frequently so according to me an option should be given to the assc for rectifying the form 26 qb because these are not very frequent transaction and the assc is not very habitual of making these type of payments this mistake can be done by any person but if this mistake happens the assc cannot claim the refund immediately or cannot even rectify the form 26 qb he has to uh, fight a long fight with the department to get the refund of that amount but this is not the case here the assc again deposited the tax after a long period of time and the cpc for late filing of uh, tds levied a fees of near about 46977 which was challenged by the assessee before the cit appeal the assessee challenged this uh, uh, fees by saying that there was a bona fide mistake on the part of the assessee assessee is not a very habitual in making these type of payments and by mistake the pen number was exchanged and that why the, that is why this mistake happened so this fee should not be levied on me because i do not have any intention to uh, defer the payment of the tds so this fee should not be levied on me but cit appeal was not convinced with the assc and he appealed the order of the cpc of levying the fees of uh fees under section 234a the assc moved to the itat and the itat gave the relief to the assc for not uh, levying the fees on the assc under section 234e the itat said that the intention of the assc was not to defer the payment the assc made the payment of the tds a long back and that was also on time but it was a bona fide mistake on the part of the assc that the pen number of the buyer and the seller got exchanged due to which the seller didn't get the benefit of uh, tds and that is why the assc was left with no option other than depositing the tds again just to buy the peace of the mind and just to avoid the fight which was going between the buyer and the seller so in this particular case the fees under section 234e should not be levied on the assc uh friends i think that there should be some provision in the act that in if in these type of cases if the mistake is 
there on the part of the person who is depositing the tax then there should be one, uh, some option of getting it uh, rectified because getting refund from the department in these type of cases is a very long process and uh, it uh, also gives a very huge financial burden on the assessee and if this mistake is rectified after some time and the if the department levies fees also then it is also very harsh on the assessee so the practice of taking penalty in the name of the fees should also be avoided and the government should come with a budget or with the enactment that this type of fee should not be taken friends once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is gb builders versus assistant commissioner of income tax cpc tds the name of the uh, this case has been reported in 95 itr tribunal short notes page number 84 and this matter has been decided by ahmedabad it it and the case has been decided on 25th april 2022 thank you friends